All right, so this is a few weeks late. I really apologize for doing that. Uh, I should have done it at the beginning of the month, but the time I'd set aside to record the punishment video, my motorbike got stolen. So that was a big, <laughs> a big hassle. And uh, then the next week after that, my mom came out to visit. I drove to Bangkok three times, so back and forth three times. So it was six days of travel. It doesn't matter. I was busy, didn't have a chance to do this. Doing it now. Uh, Taylor chose Hobgoblins from 1988. No idea what it's about. I didn't look anything up. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Dennis! Dennis! That's not that guy's voice. Oh, no way. Hey, was ist denn los? Du wirst dafür bezahlt, dass du hier aufpasst. Und okay. nicht dafür, dass du hier so blöd This is German. Not hey, what I want. Hey, Alright, so I figured it out. Not that big of a deal. I uh, just had the wrong audio track on. So let's uh, let's restart this. Hey, hey, take it easy. I can do both. Hello? Hello? Didn't you hear the phone ringing? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. That he just answered it. Well, then it couldn't have been too important, huh? Don't you have any sense of responsibility? That could have been a very important call. It rang once. Hour. In the future, would you just answer the phone no matter what hour it is and not make your own decisions about what's important and what isn't? Yeah, yeah, right, right. I don't know why he's all scared now. He's like super stressed, but he had no real reason to be. Oh man, this is uh... This is going to be a rough one. So there's nothing down. You wouldn't keep that locked? Or he just pushed it. I definitely thought he was already dead. I didn't expect to see him again. Of course. Is there supposed to be music playing in his head? Is there actual music playing somewhere? So that was a hallucination. <laughs> that was a bad cold open. I'm glad they've gotten away from these opening credits that's what the uh, like when you watch a Marvel movie at the end of the movie they have that artful style credits where they tell everyone's name then they come back later and just do the normal Another credits one quit. that replaced what was the opening this credits because it's part I'm of their contracts with the I'm holding the you SAG, responsible for the this guilds retreaty. and stuff like that every Screen actors time group. we hire, a, hire one who will stick around for a while or else, I'll hire two. <laughs> so, Kevin, is the this worst the first threat. time that you've worked as blur when you reach a certain age? Sometime I'll tell you what this place was like when it was still a functioning studio. I'd like to hear about that. This is so boring. <laughs> Nothing is happening. I think I'm like 10 minutes in and I'm just like struggling to keep my eyes open. Now, Kevin. Your friends are here. Look busy, look busy. What? Don't you ever get any tapes from the adult section? My boyfriend would never bring me a tape that didn't have at least a single X rating. Well, Kevin isn't like that. You would never want me to see anything that was rated Weird. F. Weird. Once when he's been away for two months. No, what does he want? Woo! <laughs> this is so stupid. The editing is awful, the sound design is terrible, the foley is so loud compared to the dialogue. The one thing they do decent though is the constant background is not being Whoa, broken. Everybody have sex tonight. <laughs> Wish that were up here, so. Did you say something? No, no. We had target practice. But I've never had an actual chance to shoot anyone. 
Yeah. Yeah, you just got out of basic training. Shooting someone. Is that really important to you? Well, yeah. Is he calling a sex line? That's gross. Also, I don't know what SCAG is. S-C-A-G? SCAG? Sex callers. Hi, it's me, Fantasia. Thanks for calling. I'm going to see a movie today. It's only rated PG. I want you to show up and make it rated X. Sneak in the rear door, and when the lights go down, drop your pants and show me a full moon. Wave that lunar eclipse and block the projection beam. Why don't you pay attention and maybe you'll learn something? Nick is protecting our country, and you're just guarding some rundown, deserted dump. What's he gonna learn? When I was in high school, my friend got out of basic training, came back for a visit, and uh, was teaching us some hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff, and almost broke my shoulder. <laughs> he, he said, here, pretend like you're gonna punch me, and so I did it really slow. He grabbed my wrist and yanked it back so fast and so hard, like I was just, one, I was letting him do whatever he wanted, because he, I thought he was showing me something. And two, I didn't expect him to do it like full out. And my shoulder popped so loud, his face just went all white. And he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it wasn't broken, but it was funny. Oh, hey, okay, no, 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 hold like this. Okay, now block every move that I make. I'm gonna be really slow on you. So watch out. Wait for the first one! Stop, stop, stop. This definitely seems like army training here. Is he? Maybe he went to basic training, but he learned all this way before when he was like 12. He's in his backyard with a rake. It's so intense. I don't know what's gonna happen. Who's gonna win? What's it matter? What's the stakes? None. Again, the same move. <laughs> Alright, now he's frustrated. Rule of three, you guys. It's not only for comedy. Let's go to that. I've, they've had to, like, smash their knuckles together so many times while filming this. I feel like if that I've sound happens when you're having before. sex or doing it's it an wrong. Unfair match. It took him 30 minutes to explain that there's hobgoblins. They haven't shown any map. And that this guy feels like he needs to prove to his girlfriend that he's a hero. That's it. A small creature, sort of hobgoblin. It looked around and then it stared right at me. I didn't move, I just kept watching. It looked so friendly at first. If only friendly? <laughs> that did not look friendly. Also, three people seems like not enough people to have a dance party. I had the same line every time he's gonna go home. How do they. Ah. Pulled him over for all his warrants or something. Now, would you just go back in the house? Fine, I get the message. Just take this stupid jacket with you. I would hope you got the message. Just go back in the house and leave me alone. God. Would you stop breathing all over me? <laughs> I 
this is so long. And they like, they're clearly not that dangerous. If they could just wrestle with them for so long and not have an issue. If you're watching this, please, can you vote for me? I'm only like two votes behind Taylor. And I really don't want to have to do this again. It's only halfway. Ugh. Where's Kyle? Didn't you guys see where he went? <laughs> no. You just so you, much waste of time. The first date? I mean, it almost feels satirical, but I don't know what they're trying to satirize. Like, this might be one of those things where horror movies were so bad in the 80s that even the um, <clears throat> satirical I'll versions of them feel oh, the no. same as everything else. Oh, this movie, still nothing is really, it's almost an hour in, and nothing has really happened. It's, there's no story, there's just moments. Like this, there, I mean, there's a slight hint of a story, but that's, it's not the skeleton of the movie, it's like just a light dusty there. To call it. It's Stephanie? almost an afterthought. Just everything in this movie is just wasting time. It's not like there's no purpose to any of the content. I guess that's my question. Just like, hey, we need to fill 10 minutes here. What can we do? Let's have them fight with rakes. Oh, you it must be like here for idea. the. <laughs> oh man. Greetings, low life, and welcome to Club Scum. Get off the stage, idiot! <clears throat> There's this from uh, Quarter Digital is a uh, YouTube channel. And they, they make a lot of really great stuff and there's they make some behind the scenes stuff and one of the guys was talking about one of the rules he follows for filmmaking is you show something on screen it shouldn't take longer than it is to say it right? so like the MC gets up on stage introduces the band gets off stage someone throws a beer can at him they stretch it out four or five times longer than it took me to say that. And so the pacing is so frustrating. Probably as frustrating as trying to hear me talk over this song. But. They're there to find their friend and they're just sitting watching the show. They're not even looking. There's no one in that place. Oh, they're just gonna play this whole song. Okay. No story. No development. Could be a montage of them doing something, looking, talking to people, showing a picture. Nope. Nothing. I don't know if I'm supposed to know this band, but I have no idea who this is. I doubt. I doubt that I should know at this point, 2018, 30 years. That seemed completely necessary. Why? Okay. Why couldn't this have been the song the last time? Why is it necessary to have a second musical piece of a girl dancing when with the rock song, the waitress is dancing? And they didn't add any story in that. They just wasted time. 
And now they're doing it again. This easily could have been her dancing to the, the rock band. 20 more minutes. And nothing has happened. There's no... Nothing. I cannot believe this is still going on. They've. <sighs> All those people would be dead. Had those been real grenades? All dead. Makes sense. Ooh. Amy, <laughs> this time I'm gonna make you proud. This is back in the Bruce Lee days when nunchucks were the ultimate weapon. I know this isn't earnest. I get that, but like this is so bad. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I use your phone? Just remember, the next time you see a movie that's only rated PG, I want you to make it rated X. <laughs> Very strange. So that was Hobgoblin. That was terrible. It was one of the worst so far. I think I, I don't know. I feel like I say that every time, but it, it, it gets really, really bad. Um, glad that's done. It horrible, horrible movie. Don't watch it. There's no point. Zero. So this is all for our Patreon competition. There's an option to vote for me, Alan, or Taylor. Whoever has the least amount of votes has to watch a bad movie. The other one picks. I've lost almost all of the punishments so far. And I'm only like two behind. I just need like two or three people. I don't know exactly. To vote for me with a dollar. And it'll save me next month. I won't have to do this again. He'll have to do it, and my life will be so much better for it. But I hope, I don't know, I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer. <laughs> uh, we'll be back with the podcast in a couple of days.